ruined it all. <laughs> okay, everyone behave. We're being watched. Okay. Okay. Being recorded. <laughs> Easier. And go. All right, guys. Welcome, everyone, to this. Uh, we're here to celebrate this amazing book, There Are Moms Way Worse Than You, written by Glenn Buzan. These amazing illustrations by Priscilla Witte. I said it right, right? Yeah, yeah, you did. And her name doesn't lie. They are witty. This whole book is witty and the drawings are witty and everything about it is witty. Um, if you haven't gotten your copy yet oh it's backwards i'm i'm sitting in front of my favorite um animal i think she has the right uh mom energy that i'm trying the the mom uh, yeah i'm just trying to have that i have a three-year-old so i'm just I'm, I'm, <laughs> um my name is laura wilcox i'm a just a glenn stan and so that's why she asked me to be here um because you know i'd be nice to her I, i'm a writer and an author myself and a mom and so this book has spoken to my soul. So if you don't know, Glenn, please tell us a little bit, what is this freaking book about? So the book is about, um, it's called There Are Moms Way Worse Than You, obviously, mm -hmm. and it's a sort of a, a murderer's row of really <laughs> bad animal mothers um, for the purposes of making human mothers feel mm -hmm. better about their skills as a mom when they're feeling a little down about themselves. Appreciate it. And I know, Priscilla, you were a mother as well. In fact, I believe your child is right off camera <laughs> and maybe even screwed up your Zoom a little bit by touching the screen earlier. <laughs> she definitely did. I can't see if there's, are there any comments? Are there any? Okay, so Priscilla's yeah, handicapped yeah. by her child. I mean, more, we all are in many She's ways. She's also watching a movie, which, you know, isn't ideal, but Let's leave um, her. my husband's on a work trip and you know, the babysitter canceled last minute. So look, we're making here we are, but she's behaving. She's really into it. So I'm incredibly impressed and it's making me feel bad about my parenting, how well behaved your child is. And that's <laughs> why this book needs to exist because my three-year-old screaming in the other room. Um, Glenn, thank you for having this during uh, and Chevalier. I love this bookstore. Thank you for hosting this during bedtime so that I don't have to be there for it. So <laughs> I want to know, my first question is, that, truly, thank you. I'm drinking Bailey's Irish cream, and we're having a good time chatting about stuff. Oh, yeah, stuff. cheers. Cheers. Hey, yeah, thank cheers. you for hosting. Hey, thanks for having me. An embarrassing drink, but I'm just being real. Um, is so, that even getting you, like, buzzed? Yeah, it's liquor, baby. I'm, I'm a lightweight. I'm wasted. It's fine. We're having a good time. <laughs> mom's oh. night out I'm I'm hun <laughs> hunkered in my bedroom hiding from my child this is like, the last two years in the house oh, like, yeah this is so welcome to the last two and change years <laughs> of my freaking life okay so Glenn you are not a parent as of present moment um my mom know. has been texting me and wants me to ask when is that happening I'm just kidding don't answer that <laughs> she didn't text me that's not happening but I do want to know what inspired you to write this book um, that is so needed. Thank you. Um, so like a year or so ago, my, I was hanging out with my sister who now has two kids at the time was pregnant with one and had another, a toddler running around. And my sister's like the perfect mom. Um, I say this all the time, but my niece's favorite food is radishes and her favorite hobby is reading. So, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so she wins. She's a good, very good mom. <laughs> That's good. And she was sort of like, I was on the couch and just hanging out and she was expressing these fears of like, oh my, am I socializing mad enough? Like, am I feeding her the right things? Blah, 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 blah. And I was just sort of stunned because I was like, Alex, you're the perfect mom. What are you talking about? But of course, like the self-doubt like creeps in and you can't help it no matter, you know, if you're, you know, I'm sure Simone Biles feels bad <laughs> sometimes and about her flips or whatever. So, um, and I'm sort of a dumbass. And so I just said, well, I said, I don't know, at least like hamster moms eat their babies. So like, at least you're not doing that. I don't know. <laughs> and so she laughed and um, she was like, you know what? You're right. At least I'm not eating my children. <laughs> and um, that was like the spark of the idea. And I initially wrote it as like a Mother's Day card for her. I wanted to do like a little like, it was going to be like a gift, like a little gift book that, I, and I was going to 
um, I asked around for, I asked my manager, I was like, oh, do you know anyone who illustrates? Cause I just want to have to get like a couple illustrations. And he was like, well, what'd you write? And then his wife read it and he read it. And she was like, oh my gosh, this resonates as a mom. And I was like, oh, and so he was like, let's like make this into a book. And I was like, okay. I was like, yeah, great. And then, sure. yeah. And then, um, you know, by the grace of God, who was Brandy Bowles, my agent is we found, <laughs> we found Priscilla. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Now, Priscilla, what was your, when you, when this project came to you, what was your sort of first reaction when, when, when seeing this oh. concept? Oh, I was loving it because I was like, I just became a mom and I was like, oh, first of all, I'm like, oh my gosh, do I have time to like work <laughs> <laughs> or like have to take care of the child? Um, but I was super excited and it was just like a, such a joy to to work on it with Glenn and the whole team. It was awesome. Yeah. So it was turnaround so time. I didn't, I don't write fast. I don't do fast turnarounds like you did. And you had a child. I was, we were all like stunned. Like how is Priscilla well, doing all this? It you want to know? Because I think I was just like so excited about it. And this is really genuine. And there's like, you know, uh, I feel like this is like one of the projects that I've been most excited about. And so the way that we worked together too, it was like, we were like, kind of like working together, feeding off of each other. And it was just, I just like got so pumped to be doing it. I don't know. Best. I can't, yeah, I can't even oh, explain man. it. That was just it. So I feel I like, like it comes okay. through the drawings. They're so funny and like, just fun. And I will yeah. say my, my three-year-old saw this like book that. and was like, can you read this to me? So I read her this book tonight <laughs> in its entirety. I like, you know, change some words because I'm an amazing mom yeah. so I didn't I changed the right. curse words I'm a really good mom um but she loved it and like every page was like you know why is the giraffe kicking and I was like because the draft didn't nap at preschool today like you um so thank you for this it's a great my, tool my sister read it to my niece who's like three oh. and she read her the koala eating the poop part and my niece oh. was like my niece was like first of all delighted at the idea that that was a, a thing she was like yeah. I mean, when a little kid like learns a curse word or like hears something crazy they're like whoa yeah. and she was like mommy you don't do that to me <laughs> and my <laughs> sister was like correct I that's don't the point of the book I don't do that yeah I don't do that uh yeah Joni was delighted by that she was like what oh yeah <laughs> well, he just love that yeah. page they are obsessed with it it's a great page I love it too. Great, a great uh, illustration. Um, yeah. So <laughs> what was the sort of writing process? I know Glenn, you're a TV writer, an award-winning Emmy-nominated TV writer. What was the stop, process stop. like of sitting down to write a Dr. Seussian Shakespearean rhyming Thank book? Thank you. It um, is Shakespearean. Everyone's comparing it to Shakespeare. Everyone is talking about it, and that's what they're saying, that <laughs> Um, so how, how did that differ? What was the, tell us your process. Yeah. So I think it's different because like, it's, it's like different and the same, um, with TV, you just have to think so much about the visuals in terms of like, you have to give up so much control when you're writing for TV. Like once you write it and it sort of gets approved and then like mm -hmm. edited and whatever, you're sort of like, great, like if, bye the bye. Actor, if the actor cancels or if the costume department can't find the outfit that you want or like if the director feels a certain way on the day of, like sometimes you're <laughs> bar 2.0. I just bar, thought it's Yeah, bar 2.0. Yeah. Um, That's what everyone's saying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> her mom, Ellen Hunt, her mom's <laughs> way worse than thou is really funny. <laughs> uh, a fellow author, Ellen Hahn, <laughs> coming in hot. Other. We are um, taking alternate title pitches for this book. If anyone has true. any in the in the right. chat, uh, pitch your alternate timeline title for yeah, if I had written yeah. this in fifteen hundred or if uh, no one's locked into this title, it can still be changed. So yeah, yeah, we're still, yeah, we're yeah. still we're still we're still fussing around with that. Yeah, this is a draft. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how oh, when, yeah. how <laughs> like when the when doing the illustrations, like how um, did you have a clear idea of what you want wanted the pictures to be? Was that Priscilla, do you just take that and run? How is that like collaboration between the two of you? Yeah, well, fraud. well fraud and uh, yeah. <laughs> we were like the Beatles towards the end, real messy, real yeah. emotional. <laughs> we got we broke up and got back together. 
great. Um, <laughs> You're the Fleetwood Mac of illustrated books. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, um, we just like, yeah, we, we just like went, you know, like bounced ideas off of each other. Um, and yeah, I just kind of like ran with them. Some didn't work, you know, went back, revised. And then it's like, oh yeah, oh, this makes more sense, you know, like, the final like two of them didn't work and like slightly like Priscilla yeah. <laughs> was, she came up with so many funny ideas for Aww. illustrations that I was like man Yay. we got we underpaid you because you should also be getting <laughs> author credit like really I, that's how oh I no <laughs> thank you thanks yeah. I love it Lovely. um what uh you know especially as a non-parent do you Glenn do you feel like how did your perspective as a non-parent help you in this writing process? And like, do you feel like you learned anything about parenthood or motherhood in the process of writing this? Yeah. And how learned, hard it is. Yeah. <laughs> so as a non-parent, so this is sort of the metaphor that I make when I, like when I'm looking at moms, like doing their thing, I feel like, somebody at home on the couch, like watching ice skating at the Olympics, where like the judges who are like parents themselves or ice skaters themselves or whatever, they notice all the little mistakes of like, mm -hmm. oh, if you drop the binky on the floor, mm -hmm. you got it, and I'm just like, and I'm at home being like, can you give them all gold medals? This is great. Everybody's <laughs> so pretty and sparkly. And this is great. Everyone's great. And the judges are like, I don't know, that double axle was actually one and a half axle or whatever. And like so, mm, that baby's not wearing socks. Exactly. Right. I was like, <laughs> if they're a boomer head, judge, like, do babies, <laughs> even, babies wearing socks. Right. In my head. So oh my I gosh. I actually heard a story recently about that. that what is was that? Like, but yeah, that they is did weird. That, that is weird. Yeah. About babies wearing socks? They're obsessed with babies wearing socks. If a boomer sees weird. a baby wearing not wearing socks, they're gonna they'll lose their shit. It's just like they'll lose their mind. They can't handle it. Sorry, we interrupted, but just but it's, it's just 90 no degrees on. outside. Yeah. Uh, if, if my in-laws see a baby without a hat on, they're like calling diapers. It's just like, I don't get, I don't know. I don't understand. But I, I agree with what you mean where it's like, I, I know exactly what you're saying. We're like, I don't know, the baby's alive. It's fed. It's, it's happy. What, what, what's everyone stressed about? That's my thing too. And like, when I see babies with like food on their face or like snot on their nose or like running around, like with their shirt half on, I'm like, yeah, like I'm 32 yeah. and I do that stuff sometimes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. I don't know. It's um, like the other day, I just found out like babies don't like you can't feed a baby water. I was like, do babies need yeah. water? Oh, like, yeah. so I know nothing about. I was like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't. I still don't understand why. But I didn't give. I didn't give her any water. I didn't know like, when she's one, she can drink water. Like, it is. Right. Yeah, it's water. What is that? It is you weird. Water your holy first year of life. That's crazy to me. There are a lot of rules for parenting, especially nowadays. And it. I mean, our parents didn't have to give us water. I didn't taste plain water till I was like 25 <laughs> like I didn't have a drop right. of water until I was a, a full-grown uh, adult so I you know now I'm chasing a toddler around trying to get her to drink water and eat kale oh. and it's like <laughs> no parents before yeah. us had to do yeah. this shit and you know and you beat yourself up when your kid doesn't and yeah I think also yeah. like in doing some research for this and like also I somehow landed on like mom TikTok like before I even wrote this book. So I'm like obsessed with like parenting hacks and whatever. And I think I've just noticed and I've seen like the way my mom parented and then versus the way her parents and like every generation is so like, like there was like the Ferber method where like cry them mm -hmm. out. And then there's the method of like, no, grab them. It's like, mm -hmm. man, parenting is so cyclical and trendy in yep. a way that like yep. no matter what you do, you're going to just raise your baby how it's raised and you can't yeah, yeah. change that no matter what. And so from a non-parent perspective, I'm like in 15 years, there's going to be another cool thing that we're going to be like, actually swaddling is bad. And it's like, mm -hmm. all right, I don't know. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. <laughs> they're all yeah. going to wind up in there. All roads lead to therapy and all you can do is exactly. try it. You know, their exactly. kid's going to be in therapy for one reason or the other. So right. also, there's just like too much info out there now. It's like, you should do this. You shouldn't do this. Da, 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 da. And you're just like, okay, you know? Yeah. Like, My mom was like, we just did what we felt was right and read like a book maybe. And we just yeah. figured it out. <laughs> I like that. I think that's fine because yeah. it sounds nice. It's but now we like have you got to keep it a little bit more simple, you know? Yeah. Everyone just do less. I think yeah, is the big less. lesson. 
<laughs> this has become a parenting seminar and the big takeaway is do that. <laughs> exactly. We're trying to yeah. sell you less. But that's the thing also, like so many of the parent things is, is a thing that also uh, makes me angry in general about like everything in life, like mm-hmm. women's like makeup and like clothes and like a car to make you feel well. It's like so much of the fear mongering that is like pushed into the ether about like being a mom or blah, 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 or like watch out for this one type of salad. If you feed it to your kid, because it'll, you know, blah, 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 yeah. lose, lose its mm-hmm. eyeballs or whatever. You're like, oh my God, you know, if I give my yeah. kid the wrong high chair, they'll fall over and, and hate me when I'm old, like, and they'll, you know, break their spine. Mm-hmm. Or you're like, oh. it's yeah, like, it's a lot. So much there was that- to, like sell people shit. Stop. There was a big study That's that true. came out recently that was like, all oh, baby food has heavy metals in them. And it just oh, caused I like saw, a, every I know. mom just had a total meltdown. It's like, we're trying to do the right thing and we just can't win. And it's yeah. like, well, it actually turns out all our food is heavy metals because the dirt has heavy metals because we're killing the planet. So like, yeah. just, just live yeah. your life, eat yeah. that heavy meds. Um, you know, there's nothing you, we can do. I saw like, your own food, I guess. I don't know. I saw, yeah. I saw, I saw mom. Well, Which is really I saw easy mom. when you live in Los Angeles. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> it's the company's fault, not your fault. Uh, yeah. You're saying you saw a mom. Yeah, I saw a mom. Crying. A mom to be. Oh yeah, always. I saw a mom <laughs> to be on uh, Instagram or TikTok or something, and and she was like, I think posted that article or whatever, and she goes. That's why when I'm a mom, I'm going to make all my kids food. Like homemade is best, like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, and in my head, I'm even have kids. And in my head, I was like, no, you're not. I was like, <laughs> bitch, if you think you're going to have that kind of time, <laughs> God bless. Okay. By the way, everyone says and thinks that everyone says do it. that. My I husband know. bought a baby food recipe book. He likes, he does, he's a big cook. Um, which by the way, my daughter the other day asked me, mom, uh, mom do moms cook? So <laughs> that's actually feels good. Um, about like that's a feminism. But so he bought like a baby food yeah. recipe book with the idea, like I'm going to make all of my child's meals and the recipes were like pureed beet and it would be like ingredients, a beet, put it in a fucking blender. I was like, yeah. who wrote this? Who's making um, money? You bought it. Okay, um, I, guys, I have to say, I got that book and I have, I, I looked at it once. <laughs> yeah, because you're like, oh, right, one ingredient, I, one. Okay. I literally I thought it. about this the other day. I'm like, I never used this book. It's, yeah. it's like clearly for when she was just starting to eat. It's a grocery know? list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So funny. We, we maybe pureed up a, a pear or something once, and then it's like, wait, people make this for you and we can buy it. Why would we add this to the list? Right. Glenn, I, I am, I am curious, you know, did writing this book make you want to be a parent? You must be honest. Did this make you more uh, interested or less? Oh, now there's this a makes baby. me want to be a parent. There's a cute baby. Hi, Sunny. Oh. We have a guest Yay. panelist. You like the giraffe, Sunny? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. It's kicking its child. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, kick, 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 kick. <laughs> it's fun. Can she say animals? Can does she? I don't know. <laughs> um, what does a doggy say? <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Oh, no. What does an owl say? <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you're gonna kiss him. Oh. Okay. All right, Sunny. Thank you. Here. Sorry. <laughs> Sunny, has your mother ever tried to eat you? You have to go. No, I'm winning. No, I'm winning as a parent. <laughs> oh my god! Well, that makes me want to have kids. Yeah. Uh, it is a good time. It is a good time. It's a lot, but it's a good time. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It, for all the like, you know, I do feel like this book is such a response to you know, there's so much mom shaming and so much self-imposed mom and parent guilt out there. I know. I definitely have wasted a lot of hours of my life beating myself up for the dumbest, dumbest stuff. But, you know, what, you know, how could, you know, we want this book to be like a bomb, like, like the antidote to all the shame and the guilt. So like now that Glenn, you have become, you're the de facto like anti-mom shame um, guru by writing this book. So like, 
how would you make me feel better? I'm just going to give a hypothetical example of like a potential mom fail. Like, let's say totally hypothetically speaking, my toddler reached inside her pants and pulled out like a little hard turd and ate it thinking it was a raisin, <laughs> like just hypothetically speaking, what would you tell, what would you say to this hypothetical mom um, in a moment where she might feel like she's potentially failing, especially right. because say her toddler didn't even seem that upset about having eaten poop. I don't know, just like right. a hypothetical um, example. What would you say to that? Right, so hypothetically, <laughs> and of course this is, like an imaginary world world we're living in just like a common scenario that a lot of parents find them a lot of moms find themselves in um, yeah never so you but like, like hypothetically speaking. no not me no again <laughs> yeah. no my, my my daughter eats pureed beets yeah yeah <laughs> yeah we established that yeah made I, by you <laughs> made by me <laughs> yeah, yeah. i guess i would say just like in terms of the ratio of things your child will eat in their life the majority of it is food <laughs> so if you're yeah like that's okay that's pretty good right. yeah. and like their poop is food that they've eaten and it was healthy food so like right and honestly it wasn't like rat poison it wasn't a knife wasn't rat poison you're kidding we'll say me. it's not unlike the oh damn it the koala oh no oh <laughs> well oh here i can i book. can show yeah it. wait let me find it as we'll learn in the book the mommy koalas feed their babies, their poop, mom poop. And I guess any moms really out there, when's the last one. time you gave your child <laughs> your poop and sacrificed in that way? That's true. That's this cool one is actually so much gnarlier That's than actually... it. Yeah. It's so now, gnarly. Here's my <laughs> next question. Yeah. I love that one. Oh, I don't think it's as gnarly as like pre digest, you know, killing uh, eucalyptus. Your child. <laughs> well, yeah. that, right. That's more violent, but the way, so. I don't know if this says it in the appendix, oh, yeah. but the way Call that it. the mom, so she didn't just like reach into her butt and like take it out and give it, the kids just eat it like a, like from the, her ass. Like they eat it like a, <laughs> like a DQ out of the squeeze. <laughs> Is this that different than breastfeeding? Uh, oh, honestly, just saying, not, I guess I'm, I guess I'm pro eating poop. I'm so it's sorry, everyone. <laughs> Derailed. I would like to know, uh, <laughs> Which do you guys have favorite, like which of these like bad animal moms is your spirit bad animal mom? Like which are, which are, I wanna see each of your favorites from the book, your favorite oh, illustration man. or your favorite crazy animal mom. Mine is clearly um, this, the, the harbor seal, right? Har harp seal, oh, harp seal. Yeah. who yeah, just yeah. gives birth and two weeks later is like, I've done yeah, yeah. all I can do. I've gotta go be me again. And she just like, leave the you know, iceberg. yeah she leaves the baby and she um it's... focuses on herself and I think that that's actually really powerful and I love her so she's my she's my, actually, like, that's my favorite kind of nice <laughs> yeah sounds great focusing on yourself <laughs> being a mom for two weeks and then being like I am exhausted <laughs> I'm not completely done. <laughs> goodbye that's, a, that's enough Forever. I know like maybe we'll run into each other in the ocean um Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, think about like if you were a harp seal and then like a couple of years later you were like, oh my God. Sorry. Are you my Did I give birth? Wait a minute. Did I give birth to you? No way. Oh my God. How are I didn't you? Think, I didn't think you'd make it, honestly. I'm surprised. Uh, I thought you were not gonna, I thought you were not cut out for a living. But hey, good. No, for you. you were small. I thought oh, you yeah, were for God. sure gonna be um orca you food. Were wow. So good at so and so how are things going? <laughs> Life is good, yeah. I'm great, you, I made it again and again and again and did the same thing over and over, so. Uh, <laughs> what a life. I have 25 is, children and yeah, I, I don't them. know any of them. Uh, no favorites, because I don't know any of them. So Glenn, what's your favorite? What's your favorite of the, I, I'll oh. share it with the people. Give us a little taste of this book too. I it wanna, changes every day. Give us a couplet. Honestly, I think I started off with the harp seal being my favorite too, because just, and her just like in the water, very leisurely, like, bye is, and then the look <laughs> on it, just the peaceful look of like, mm, so peaceful. So yeah. Fun. Yeah. 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 What is my favorite? I mean, just like on her way to get a drink with her girlfriends. Yes. <laughs> yeah. so it's like right. where she, it's like where she's going. Like I mean, all the time. I, <laughs> Every day after. 
This one's pretty good too. I like the energy. This is very like Peg Bundy in I my love. eyes. Is this one? They call the yeah. the Lanyu skinks. Yes. When side by side the la with Lanyu skinks, you look like world's best mama. They'll eat their eggs if things get tough, just to avoid the drama. Look at her, just living her best life, eating she's her children, I just love to be done one. with it all. I love her. And she's so, she's just the belly is full. Yeah, she's like, she's I'm like, chilling. she's like, I gotta get like a little high to help me digest this huge meal I just had. <laughs> Pants unbuttoned, just uh, done. She's got selling sunset on TV. She's uh, <laughs> she's having a night. <laughs> oh, oh and then gosh. this one makes me really laugh. Is that so, Priscilla? Um, <laughs> this is the money. eagle mom, like <laughs> watching her kids fight to the death. But and then Priscilla added that she was like taking bets, <laughs> <laughs> and that gets me every time. Oh, That's yeah, such a. It's such a like, um, I only have one child, but we're in talks for, about, with, about having a second and very scared. Uh, and it is, it's like the, the competition. There's something so primal about that where it's like, no, I'm two siblings have to fight for the resource of their parents' attention. It's like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's that so scary. I <laughs> and it feels relatable as humans if you have siblings, like I kind of, yeah, I get it. <laughs> kind of what we do yeah not quite so dramatically priscilla do you have a favorite not for money general how my parents are, um, i don't know man my favorite oh actually glenn i have my books in the other room would you mind okay i don't know i love that i love i also love the aunt the aunt oh, oh yeah she's yeah. great she's awesome Who drinks the blood she's yeah. just yeah. chilling by the pool she is really having a blood smoothie <laughs> <laughs> i love that one i did like a it's like a very like 90s like beach chair oh yeah <laughs> you see it again um what else do i love oh man i do yeah. love lanny skinks that we already but no no more touching that feels you already ruined it for me <laughs> That feels like a fan favorite uh, is the Lanyu Skinks. Um, what other? Oh, I do love I do love all the ladies, Glenn. All the ladies in the car. Oh yes. So this is a, the spread that oh, cool. if I had like a poster in my room, I might pick this one. Um, this one is <clears throat> in. Oh, I can't yes. read it and look at the same time, but in yeah, fact, yeah, yeah. a lot of new moms pull a disappearing act: bunnies, black bears, snakes, and lizards, sheep, and birds and cats. And so these are yeah. all the moms moms These girls are having a good time that just ditch their kids <laughs> yeah <laughs> like really? i really i have to say i really appreciate looking at all these images i think part of what feels so like comforting to read this book is how none of them feel guilty they're, they are just <laughs> yeah. there's Girl not guilt. a drop of guilt in any of their faces they're like fully their authentic selves are like I just drank my baby's blood and I feel great and I'm not yeah. gonna apologize to anyone about it and if you don't like it that's your problem you know yeah. great boundary <laughs> setting by these murderous uh animal moms um that, that was very much like we did that on purpose we were like okay we want the animals to either be like look like animals so like a neutral face or slightly pleased in their decision yeah. like we I, like yeah. Priscilla and I were like it's to us it felt way funnier to have them be um unremorseful like, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and you know I, what it's so funny yeah. I used to like love I mean not I mean I used to really like pandas you know I mean pandas they're cute I hate them I cannot, <laughs> I hate them I'm like what the hell they like kill one and of in, their children this is so look awful. if they have if like, you if from you'll learn from this cute. book when you all buy it yeah if when pandas have twins they sometimes ditch one because twins are hard and I have oh, friends with I don't have twins but it, they seem hard uh two at once yeah so it's like yeah. <laughs> they're like I don't want to do this it's, this behavior is very relatable we just aren't allowed to do it you know due to like yeah. laws and stuff so <laughs> it's it's a fun read so I I want to know like what what do you guys hope that readers take away from this book what is your what is your hope for once you you burst this book baby it's out in the world what do you hope what's the impact of this book baby on the world 
Oh, um, I guess like, uh, just a li- like, again, sort of that anti-mom shame, like that this can serve as a sort of, sometimes when you're like in the thick of everything, you forget to sort of come back to center and be like, Ooh, okay. In the grand scheme of things, like, am I going to be okay? Like what could have gone differently? Nothing. Cause that's how fate works or whatever. Like to just like take a breath. And I feel like I would love it if this book moms could like read it or remember it or like see it on their bookshelves during a stress stressful moment and be like oh okay like right 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 okay okay like as a I don't think humor is like the cure for everything or anything really in a lot of ways but I like that it's a, it can be a starting point yeah it doesn't yeah. hurt it doesn't and also maybe hopefully because this book is out into the in the world that people understand or that moms understand too like you're not the only one that's feeling these feelings like this book would not be in in the world if it was Mm -hmm. if it wasn't immediately relatable yes yeah exactly Mm -hmm. absolutely my my favorite thing to see that I've seen like people saying on Twitter or whatever is when they when like an older mom or a, a mom of an older kid, so like graduated already or whatever, gives the book to either like their kids who have kids or like other younger moms who are like just starting out. And the moms are suddenly they're like, they're like, girl, take like there you yeah. go. <laughs> like mm-hmm. and that's really cool because yeah. that's sort of them being like, welcome to the rodeo kid. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I like that a lot. I've I like that. that too. Yeah. Oh, that feels like a beautiful full circle moment. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, I have one last question for you, Glenn, because Priscilla, you're busy with the kid already. But my last question for Glenn is, can you babysit this weekend? Just please know I am <laughs> unwilling to pay and I may not come back. So, just like, um, about it. Um, yeah, I would. Uh, 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 oh, no, oh. she's driving through a tunnel. Oh, she's no. lost service. <laughs> Wait, oh, no. Anyway, did you get my answer? Sorry, my service was so bad. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, guys, thank you for writing this book. We really need it. My Mother's daughter just Day. handed me her dinner that she had earlier. I don't know how she got it, but she where has it been this whole time? We we bathed, we put our pajamas on, and then she just brought me part of her dinner. I don't know what just weeks. I don't know what happened. Sunny, your time oh is just perfect it's just perfect it's really a beautiful which was mac and cheese i needed to make it fast for this you know plus that's the best food in the world yeah well everyone get out there buy this book mother's day is right around the corner it is literally the most perfect mother's day book for anyone oh any mom parent fathers too there's dads Uh, oh wait real quick there is dads are referenced just so dads don't feel left out their dads are referenced the best the dad, Look at the I love the dish on this one. Oh wow, it's it's even getting cropped out because there's it background knows. I'm doing. Yeah. Look that at that. That actually is one of my favorites. That's Look one at of the my tight favorite. tush on that, that guy. That Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> so I just want to give it a little pinch. Ribbit, yeah, ribbit. Right. Is like yeah, right. Very, oh, he's very in shape. He's very uh-huh. in shape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the po- the the poison dart frog to like keep his eggs moist will use his piss, which is a fun detail. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess, should we turn it to the audience? Are there any questions, any burning questions that you guys have for Glenn or Priscilla um, about their book or just like life in general? Do you want Glenn to like make up a cup rhyming couplet on the spot about anything? (laughs) If if there are questions, I I can't see them or... Oh, here's one. Okay, I'll read them. <laughs> Megan wants to know which rhyme or rhyming couplet was the most fun to write. Ooh, um, that's a great question. Um, I liked the um, I liked the run towards the um, where the oh, sorry, I'm I'm trying to find it to read it, but I really liked the run of the trophy case Mm -hmm. Um, because Uh, to me it felt like the sort of like the point of the book and like the thing that I wanted to say the most about like in this book and then also I just love that I got like a a curse word in there (laughs) so yeah yeah 
So, so this is the the illustration, which is so good, which Priscilla loves. Nailed. Okay, like, mom of the year. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> a, and then number five, rhyming scheme. I love this one. Though others might make comments or judge from where they sit, this concept of a perfect mom is absolute bullshit. Let's celebrate the not so great and wish it had gone better. Embrace the mediocre family times you share together. Love. I love it. The mediocre love family it. times. Yeah, I you really tied. It. You really did tie it all together in the end too. Yeah. And then yeah. this is well. This let me. I'll say this little part because this has Megan, my editor, thought of this really great part. So, and then I wrote because even if you drop a kid or accidentally curse, just know that when it comes to moms, you'll never be the worst. So that's the end of the I book. But then I just wrote because even if you drop a kid or accidentally curse, and then Megan, my editor put accidentally in quotes, which is like <laughs> so much funnier yeah. than what I wrote. Yeah. So it's perfect. It was or Me- accidentally curse. Megan is the best. And she's too, a mom. So she knew. she's a mom. And she has a she has a follow-up question for you, Priscilla, which are are there any little extra jokes that you snuck into the illustration? Oh, I didn't see that question. No, and that's under the Q and A. There was one in the chat and one in the Q and A, which maybe only. Are there any uh, jokes that are in the illustration? Yeah, like any little extra visual jokes that you snuck into the illustration. <sighs> Probably no. some are in the in the trophy case we just saw, but. Um. Oh. No. I, I just, <laughs> there was I a good. I feel like a lot of them have like fun um, little visual. Gags. I loved this where we wanted like oh, a yeah, missing yeah. room. And she <laughs> like <laughs> Barbie on the dice. <laughs> yeah, which was great. Oh yeah, yeah, that was cute. I love that. It's perfect. Um, and then the detail. That, no. Oh yeah, I love that one too. I love yeah, it. that's one of my faves too. I kind really of on like... every page, you'll see when you buy the book. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. There's yeah, a little yeah. something, something there. A little that, something, yeah, yeah. That adds to it. Yeah. Ellen wants to know, did you learn about any bad moms that you weren't able to put into the book? Ooh. Any bad moms on the cutting room floor? Yeah, how did you choose, Glenn? It's like... Um, so I thought of a bunch and then Megan found a bunch too. I think she wrote like five or six of them that ended up. And I think we did bad, bad dads too. I think she pitched a lot of those. Were there any that didn't make it? There were some that were like, the ones that we didn't like go into in detail were sort of like the ones we said in like bears and sheep and birds and cats because they just like leave their kids. And mm-hmm. so many animals um, just leave their kids. Their children so quickly <laughs> that, um, that it's- That yeah. we're just gonna have to do a second book. I know, I think I know, so, right? I mean- I think bad dads, like a full <laughs> of all more of the bad dads. I know, right. Maybe for the bad dads, we'll, we'll put some human dads in there. Like, hey, this one was really yeah. bad, remember? So bad too. <laughs> now I have yeah, another question sure. from Beverly says, well, it's also a question more a comment, but I think we can all agree. I found I have new respect for the cuckoo bird who lays her eggs in some other bird's nests, <laughs> yes. which is, that is, I, that is, I mean, just like props, girl. <laughs> she just hides her eggs from another bird's off. egg and is like, you raise them. That's your egg. I don't know. Where I didn't have an egg. Bye. You know. Hi, Nani. That's my Nani. <laughs> Hi, Nani. Nani. Of course, Nani doesn't feel this way about raising you or I guess your parent. So the reason that I wrote it like in rhyme, like my Nani, my grandma, she writes, like I got my poetry, my writing poetry from like gift or whatever. Like I like it because she, my whole life, hand writes everyone in her family, like birthday, like limericks and poems and haikus and just it's where I get it from. Oh, Aww. I love that. It's like such that. a boy getting birthday cards. That's so cute. Wow, that's the best. That's awesome. So it's a, so it's a family tradition. Yeah. <laughs> so, so thank you, Nani. I'll give you a, I'll give you a percentage. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if anyone else has any other questions, but if not, all your questions can be answered and all your again, truly there's a parenting Bible. Um I really do strive to embody this. I don't give an F attitude um, in all my parenting. Like, you know, I always thought, I always liked it. 
<laughs> I can't oh. turn this thing off. There we go. <laughs> I always, I always hoped to be like the laid back mom who's like, I'll be the chill mom. I'll be, I'll be a cool mom, not like the other moms. And um, <laughs> no, I wasn't. And I'm not, but I'm trying to be. And so this is good inspiration to, to get to that um, guilt-free Zen life, maybe. <laughs> you're a very chill parent, Laura. Yeah, I feel like I bet you're a, a great mom. I bet you're thanks, super guys. Chill and great. Yeah, I, I well, Priscilla, don't go that far. I don't know, but you know, <laughs> she's alive and she's she's here. She's doing. She's good. She's good. She does some. She has been known to say fucking Christ uh, loudly at preschool and always in front of my oh, mom. No. So like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like mom goals, but yeah. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh, no. It's really funny, is the problem. Oh, no. It's really funny. No. It's really funny. And so, yeah. Well, thank you guys for having me. Everyone, buy this amazing book. I'm so, um, I'm so glad you wrote it Thanks, and Laura. drew it. Thank you guys. And then buy Laura's book. It's so yes. good. It's oh, called I Am Bride. It? It's like a, it's like a prequel to this book. It's called yes. I Am Bride. It's a very similar vein. It's kind of making fun of um, the wedding industry. It's for the stressed out bride oh, who's like maybe that. taking wedding planning too seriously. And then you become a stressed out mom taking momhood too seriously. It's really, <laughs> yeah. they go well together. There we yeah. go. Bookshop. Very Thank you. Very funny. They're a real <laughs> companion piece. Not that you need to be married to have a kid. Come on. Honestly, <laughs> your, book, your book and my book um, together would be a great combo shotgun wedding gift. <laughs> that I, is a if great. If you have any I shotgun, agree. it's really good. Or if you're like a if you're mo- a, like a pushy mother of the bride, or or you know mother in law of the bride, and you really want to like uh, make a strong suggestion, I think they are a perfect. I really do think they go together. So yeah, thank you all. That's awesome. <laughs> Laura. Well, I, I, uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> was there another <laughs> Zoom cut out? Finishing mine cut out. Hello, Sunny. Hi, Sunny. <laughs> All right. Should we exit? Okay. Yes, I guess. Th- thank you all so much. For the Bye. Thank you for having all us, right. Trevally Books. Thanks, Sian. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, go buy your books at Trevally Books. Which is yes, like a, buy them the, there. The, go to Lar- It's such a fun place to just spend the spend the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> well, have a good thank you guys for hosting thank this. You. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs>